Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Now, you should never, ever say things can't get worse. The next four minutes, we'll show you why. Here's Turton Back Time. Be back with Turton Back Time. That's Emmy Award wanting Turton Back Time. Emmy Award wanting. If you please. <laughs> All right, here goes. <laughs> November 1st, 1913. That's the date of the game that changes football. During the first Army versus Notre Dame football game, Notre Dame uses the forward pass to beat Army 35 to 13. Quarterback Charlie Doreas and receiver Knut Rockney, yeah, that guy, used the forward pass to beat Army's size advantage. Doreas completed 14 of 17 attempts for 243 yards. Until that time, receivers would come to a stop and wait for the ball. But Doreas passed to Rockney while he was in full stride. That's the difference. It changed football. Happy birthday to Lyle Lovett, born November 1st, 1957. Some of his songs, You Can't Resist It, back in 86, If I Had a Boat in 87, and Lyle Lovett and his large band received the 1989 Grammy Award. Once married to Julia Roberts, too. That's right. People tend to forget that. Yeah. November 2nd, 1947, billionaire Howard Hughes flies his 200-ton wooden airplane, the Spruce Goose, for its first and only flight. It was the world's largest plane at that time. It's built from wood due to World War II restrictions on the use of aluminum. Happy birthday to Daniel Boone, born November 2nd, 1734, explored what is now Kentucky, where he founded Boonesboro, one of the first American settlements west of the Appalachians. He once said, I can't say as ever I was lost, but I was bewildered once for three days, which I really <laughs> I know the like. Feeling, yeah. yeah. November 3rd, 1929, a Ripley's Believe It or Not cartoon points out that America has no national anthem. The level of pub public outcry leads to the adoption in 1931 of Francis Scott Key's The Star Spangled Banner, sung to the tune of an old English drinking song to Anacreon in Heaven. Yeah, didn't have a national anthem, hmm. believe it or not. Uh, happy birthday to Charles Bronson, Charles Buczynski, born November 3rd, 1921, American actor. He claimed he was so poor growing up. At one time, he had to wear his sister's dress to school for lack of clothing. He was also a U.S. Air Force veteran. He uh, was a gunner on a B-29 Super Fortress, flying 25 missions against the Japanese home island during World War II. Some of his films, Magnificent Seven, in 1960, The Great Escape in 63, The Dirty Dozen in 67, among others. November 4th, 1979, the record for the fewest yards by a team in an NFL game is set when the Seattle Seahawks rack up an astounding negative seven yards against the Los Angeles Rams. Final score. 24 to 0. When was that? Yeah, back in 79. God. <laughs> they still owe us seven yards. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, and a happy wow. birthday to Walter Cronkite, born November 4th, 1969. Reporter anchor for the CBS Evening News from 62 to 81. Known for his sign off, and that's the way it is. Yeah. After a public opinion poll, he became known as the most trusted man in America. November 5th, 1946, Chuck's Connors, who later starred in the TV series The Rifleman, playing for the Boston Celtics, okay? He becomes the first NBA player to shatter a backboard. What? That guy, yeah, no kidding. No way. Yeah, it, it was during the pregame warm-up, and it broke because it was improperly installed, but Chuck Connors, the Rifleman, right there, you can see him, he was the first one to break, uh, to shatter a backboard. Pretty cool, huh? Man, that's Happy crazy. birthday to Leonard Franklin Sly, better known as Roy Rogers. Born November 5th, 1911. Singing cowboy named King of the Cowboys, who appeared in movies and, and TV with Dale Evans on, and, and Trigger from uh, 51 to 57. And finally this. Here we go. What do you call two octopuses that look the same? 
I could I could sit here all day. Hit me. What is it? I tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps it up for this edition of Turtle. I like that time. one. It's not I terrible. <laughs> I tentacle.